This tool not only captures your screen and your face cam like this right here, but you can also change the layout of your recording with your face cam in combination like this or like this or the traditional bubble like so and so many others. In addition, this tool will automatically cut any silences in your videos, any filler words such as ums, ahs, so's, all with a click of a mouse button. What's more is this tool allows you to edit your video by simply editing the text just like a Word doc. All right, so the very tool is called Teller. It's more than just a screen capture tool like Loom. As mentioned, it allows you to do things like automatically edit your videos, add captions, and lay out the video the way you want. Who exactly is Teller for? Well, if you're a creator, founder, designer, or work with teams, or just a regular person who wants to make videos with super low effort and not feeling like you need to be a video editing expert to make videos. I've been using Teller myself since 2021, and I'd say it's my go-to whenever I need to make quick tutorials, share feedback with my team, and SOPs or training videos with them. All right, with that said, let's get started. And the first thing you're going to wanna to do is sign up. Now, the pricing and plans are pretty reasonable compared to something like Loom. You'll get a full seven days to try out Teller. And if you use the link in the description box below, you'll automatically get 30% off all the plans. So it's reasonably priced compared to Loom. You get unlimited videos, unlimited recording duration too. Now let's go ahead and create our first screen recording. Once you're logged in, simply follow the start here steps. Otherwise go ahead, click on the more options icon right there. And there is a native Mac app right there. But probably the most popular way that people are using Teller is by simply recording directly in the app. Otherwise install the Chrome extension, which I'll be using for the duration of this video. So go ahead, click on install Chrome extension. Once it's installed, you'll see the Teller icon right here. This is in Chrome. If you do wanna enable it on your toolbar, make sure you click on the extensions icon and you'll see Teller, make sure you pin it. You'll need to log into your Teller account before you start recording your first video. Once you're logged in, all you need to do is make sure you set your devices. The first is your camera. So I'm using my camera, my webcam on my MacBook Pro. And for the audio device, select your audio device. I'm just using this right here. And then this is where you select the window. What do you wanna record? Do you wanna record the current tab that you're looking at right now, a window or simply your full screen? And this will uh, give you uh, the ability to capture other things outside of your browser, such as other apps, other programs on your system too. What I'm going to do is head to Mid Journey. This is the showcase area, and I'm just going to select Current Tab. So you can see what's enabled. And from here, either select Multi or Quick. Quick allows you to record your recording in one go. Otherwise, if you do want to do it in parts, then select Multi so that you can record one part, pause it, stop it, and then you record the next part. So that way you don't need to record or having this pressure to record your video all in one go. However, you do and have the ability to edit your video later on anyway. So don't fret. But in this example, we're just gonna select multi, click on record, it will have a timer. I'm just gonna hide this toolbar and now we are recording. This is mid journey in the showcase area and um, I'm just putting some ums and ahs and so's as an example, but we're gonna use a different demo anyway. But for now, this is just a little demo. We're gonna stop it. Now to stop it, you can head to the toolbar and we're gonna click on stop. Because we selected multi, we can go ahead and record our next part. So this is the next part right here. And this is part two. We can say whatever we want, continue where we left off, uh, go back, click on stop. And now we can see there's two parts, two videos in this recording. So once you're done with your recording, all you need to do is click on this done button and then you'll be taken directly to the video editor. And this is where you can go ahead and start editing your video. So let's move on to that. All right, instead of using the video I just recorded, what I've done is I've opened up a video that I recorded previously because this has got some good examples of things that we'll be using. All right, so the first thing is the layout. And this is probably the biggest one that you can uh, quickly and easily do to enhance the look of your video. So right here is the face cam on the right versus on the left. Uh, you can have it overlap like so, or have it take uh, kind of like one third of the space. Uh, down here, we've got a box 
Otherwise, you can go ahead, use one of the circle face cam or bubble face cam like so. You can also have your full face there. All right, so I'm just gonna select this here. Simple enough. You can also change the background color. So very quickly like that, choose from the Unsplash library or the Teller library. And so this one right here, or you can play around with it. Otherwise, upload your own background. I'm just going to use this one right here, go back. Before we do anything else to the appearance, let's go ahead and edit our video, the raw clip, right? So we're gonna to go to trim, and this is where the AI magic uh, happens. So the first thing is, you can see at the very start, there's this silence. You can tell by the track, the audio track. And at the end, there's this long silence. So to automatically remove the start and end, there's this feature called buffers, one click, it will remove it just like that. So now if I play it, it's gonna play straight away when I actually start talking. So let's click play. Hi, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In there we go. All right, the next AI magic that's gonna happen is removing silences. It's detected five silences in particular, and we can save 10.9 seconds. And as you know, in this day and age, it's all about retention and engagement. If you are just going to waffle on and there's a lot of silences happening with your video, you're not going straight to the point, then it's going to hurt retention and people will just click off and watch something else, which is why these enhancements are useful to the success of your videos. Further options under silences include natural, you've got fast and faster. What do all of these mean? Well, natural will give it a bit more of a silence as opposed to faster, which pretty much gets rid of all of the silence. So it's cutting to the next part really, really quickly. So if you want a fast paced video, then go for faster. Otherwise something a bit more natural and ones where you're not giving a load <laughs> of information to your audience really quickly, you know, you want to go with natural. So let's go ahead. We'll click on natural, remove five silences. Right there, it's gone, you can tell by the gaps. All right, below that, we've got filler words. This is super useful. And for someone who's created over 300 videos here on this channel, I still say my arms are so's. So to get rid of those in one click, you can use this feature here. Just for reference, I'm gonna play back something where I say, um, okay, so you can see what it's done or what it will do. So I'll click play. Zeke is walking. Uh, upright right there, uh, up. And when I click on remove five fillers, it's remove that particular um. And when I play it back, you can hear what it's done. Physique is walking upright on two. So you can see what it's done. It automatically cleaned up my video. So I don't need to worry about those ums and ahs. The other way to edit your video is to simply go to the clip that you want to edit. We're going to click on trim and then right here, is where you can start editing. And let's say you wanna cut a particular area like this here. All you need to do is click on split and it split the clip to two parts. And all I need to do is click on delete and it's gone. The other way is to use the drag sliders so that you can simply cut what you want. If you can't see what it is you're editing, simply zoom into that, or you can simply drag right there to zoom in even closer. Now, another way to edit your videos instead of doing all the splitting and all the dragging and things like that is using the transcript editor, okay? You can basically edit your videos by editing out the text. So if we go to trim, right down the bottom, you can see transcript, click on edit, and then you'll see the entire transcript and right here is where you can edit your video. So let's say I want to wipe off, right? The it's Aurelius, this part here, right? I'm just going to click that word and then I'm going to go delete from video and it's gone. Okay. So I'll also delete it's from the video. And if I start the video uh, right at the start, you'll see where it's going to go. You can see, welcome back to the channel. So I'll click on play. Welcome back to the channel. In the, as opposed to it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. Okay. And then all you need to do is rinse and repeat by editing the rest of your script. All right, the next feature is the zoom feature. If you wanna zoom in on a particular feature or on a particular option or icon or a setting, you can use the zoom feature. Let me play something back and I'll show you what I want to zoom into. So I'll click on play. It to do is click on the sign up button. All right, right there where I say sign up button, I've put the 
the playhead right there and I'm going to click on add zoom. This will add the zoom effect and I want to zoom in, let's say 220% and now when I click on play, I'll go back, sign up button. It's zoomed in. However, I'm not zooming into the right location. So all I need to do is move the target right where I want it. So this sign up. And now when I play it back, the sign up button. Once there, it's zoomed in to the right thing. Another cool feature of Teller is you can go to subtitles and they've got a range of layouts to choose from. The actual subtitles and captions are entered automatically after the video processes. So this should take, you know, a few seconds actually, uh, at least with this video here. And you can choose a layout. So once you've selected the layout, you can then go to customize and then choose a particular text color like so, and a secondary color. Also the highlight color at the moment is this uh, blue, a blue purplish color. And you can also change the style, the font uh, size. I like this highlight layout in particular. If I click on play, you can see the effect. In a all right, to get started, all you need to do, is there we go. Now, let me show you something cool. Going back to layout, and you'll see multi layouts. If you want to add different layouts, so not just sticking with one particular layout uh, throughout the duration of the video, but instead have variations. So all you need to do is select where you want that layout to end, let's say somewhere here. And what I'm gonna do is click on add layout. So this portion of the video will have one particular layout. As this is an intro for a video, I want to make it full screen. So the focus is on me as opposed to the screen. Now, when I play it back, it will show this. And then the second part will show me with the screen. So I'll click on play and you'll see what's gonna happen. Not just any images, but these will be realistic. And there we go. And you can go into edit layout transition and you're given smooth or hard cuts. Okay, so we'll click on hard cut. You'll see what's gonna happen. It's not just any images, but the, and bam, it goes straight into the next layout as opposed to the smooth layout where you'll see the transition will be a lot smoother. It's not just any images, but these will be like so. And while you're in the layout section, you can choose between wide portrait or square. So let's go into those modes. So it really depends where you'll be posting your video and where it will be used in terms of your media assets and things like that. Once you're done editing your video, you can share it with your team, your clients, your customers, or your viewers by clicking on share. And then you've got the link that will directly link to this video hosted by Teller. If you don't want it hosted by Teller, you can click on download and this will download the video. There's a few options here, including 4K resolution. Once you're done with the options, click on start export and then let it process to then download. All right, friends, and that's how you can start creating videos effortlessly using Teller. Link to it will be in the description box below. It is an affiliate link. However, there's no extra cost on you. But if you do use a link, you do get an additional 30% off all plans. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.